We'll start with monochromatic, the simplest, safest way to make a scene look intentional. You pick one colour and just commit. Different shades, tints, maybe a little brightness, variation. But no cheating, be consistent, and not only with the lights, but your choice of objects and textures as well. Monochromatic lighting feels calm, clean, organised. Great for focused moments or games that live in one emotional lane, like solitude, mystery, or, you know, cosy puzzle game. Next up is analogous lighting. That's when you pick colours that are next to each other on the wheel, like orange, red, and yellow. They're neighbours. They get along, they share seasoning, it creates warmth, harmony, and that golden hour softness you see in chill walking sims or emotional puzzle games where nothing explodes. Then we have complementary colour schemes, where colours from opposite sides of the wheel show up to cause drama. Blue and orange, red and green. It's high contrast and instantly eye-catching. This is what superhero movies and fast food logos are made of. In lighting, it's incredibly useful for guiding attention. That contrast subtly pulls your eyes to where the action is without screaming, look here for something cool. Split complementary is like complementary's more stable sibling. Instead of using a direct opposite, you use the two colors next to it. So if you're working with orange, instead of going straight to blue, you hit teal and purple. The vibe stays punchy, but it's less chaotic. It's great for scenes where you want contrast and variety, but don't want your lighting to look like a battle between RGB sliders. And then there's triadic color schemes. This one's bold. Three colors evenly spaced on the wheel. It's great if your game looks like a Saturday morning cartoon and has characters screaming about soup or assembling magical pancakes. But in moody or realistic settings, use it with caution. Too many strong colours and your horror game starts looking like a birthday party with regrets. Check out the full video to see how light makes a difference in games.